Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Jim Balacera sitting with Wes Wynarski. And actually, I had a chance to meet Wes uh, in North Carolina. And before that, I actually saw you on the internet. So I actually kind of got to know you a little bit like many months before we actually shook hands and met and greeted in North Carolina. Now here we are in California. And uh, yesterday you came to the, the studio and we had a chance to kind of get to know each other. And I love the opportunity when I have it to uh, actually get to know someone before they come in the studio. And so I've really discovered some things about you that are pretty cool. Uh, you're definitely an entrepreneur from beginning to end. Uh, you've, you've probably lived, well, you've definitely lived in more places than I've lived. But I, I, I think I'm one up on you on all the locations throughout the United States that I've been in Canada. But to talk about, you know, what, what is it that makes Wes tick? I mean, why are you so driven? Why are you an entrepreneur? And how, how is it that here you are Canadian and, and yet you made it your home in the United States? That I, tell us about that. Well, it gets back to I was born in Niagara Falls, New York, and I was raised in Canada. My parents were school teachers. And um, I owned car washes when I was younger. I was uh, underground parking garages, shopping malls, all over the place. I was just working wherever I could, cutting grass, doing that. When I was about 16, I started in the car wash business and uh, met a gentleman by the name of Dan Kennedy, and he put uh, my name in a book. You know Dan Kennedy? How to succeed in business by breaking all the rules. Oh, my. And uh, I got people coming up from all over the place from that point saying, I've seen you in a book. I've read your name. And uh, kind of put me on the map so to some extent. And a gentleman from, uh, from Florida actually bought my car washes from me in the mid-90s. And because I was born in New York, I moved to, uh, to South Texas. Now, 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 what's really funny is here you were born in New York with no New York accent, but yeah. definitely a Canadian accent. My eh? strong southern accent, <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> I'm so sorry, go ahead. I was, uh, I was born, in, uh, born in New York. I moved to Texas and uh, started washing cars down there because it's the only thing I knew at that point. Got in the RV business. And that was great because uh, I enjoy helping people. That's one of the, one of the main reasons... I got involved is because there's so many people down there who could not uh, maintain and take care of their motorhomes and RVs. And I got involved just by trial and error and learning, and it evolved into quite the business um, opportunity for me where now, I was traveling. I, I have a question for you. Were you ever in college? or? I, w I went to first year of college, the best three years of my life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> best three years? Best three years of my life. I, uh, you know, I played hockey all three years, <laughs> being the good Canadian that so I am. So you weren't really in college. You were playing <laughs> hockey. I got it. I got it. Good. So, so it was, it, was, it, was, it was great, but the experiences I learned, it's uh, just from meeting people and being around. That's where I really got my education is by hands-on. Um, I was told by a gentleman when I was in high school is, until you're 30 years old, get all the experience you can. Work and learn is from as many people who are successful um, because you can't, you can't put a, a dollar sign on that. You can, get, you can learn so much from people's experiences. That's all I did. And when you're 30, things will just fall into place and things will, will evolve. And I'm 33 now. And... Having the time of my life. Yeah, you're a young 33. So um, we really haven't talked about what makes you tick. I mean, you, we understand you're an entrepreneur, but something's driving you to do it. Is it the money or is it the experience? Is it the growth? What, what is it? I don't get it's it. probably the opportunity to help people. I really enjoy helping people, uh, helping people succeed. If I've learned something through my travels and seeing someone else achieve the same success and live their dreams, that really, really gets me excited to see someone else experience what I have or learning mutually, might be is myself learning from them at the same time. So uh, building a business is, is is always a fun journey, you know. So so really, what you just said to me was, your people first and money secondary. Correct. Well, that's, yeah, yeah. that's a compliment because you know there's a lot of people that are driven by money first and they'll walk over people to get there. Well, here's an interesting story. When I was in uh, in, in grade 12 or 12th grade, as you say here in the United States, my uh, grade 12 English teacher sat me down and said, you need to have an essay. On, um, on a story called Death of a Salesman. And um, I, obviously being the, uh, the budding student I was, I didn't, I didn't complete it in time. So she made me a sandwich and sat me down and she started dictating. I was dictating to her exactly what the essay was. Um, Your teacher was, gonna do. was allowing you to dictate the essay? I, I said it backwards. I was, I was, yeah, I was dictating it to her. Wow. And because uh, she wanted me to get it done and I was so focused on my car wash business at the time, I, I, I thought that's where I wanted to be. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm working. And, and how old would you have been? Probably about uh, 19 at the time. And she says, what's the moral of the story here for Death of a Salesman? And um, I, I stumbled around for a bit, and she said, well, it's stepping on other people to get to the top. And I said, you know what? I'm going to build my business and be successful without stepping on people but helping people rise with me. And uh, it's been amazing, the journey, because I keep that in my mind with everything I do, and when I come across an opportunity where I can help people, I think of Mrs. Phelps every, every, time, every chance that happens. Wow. So, uh, 
Well, un unfortunately, time is, uh, is pretty much cut now. And I just want to end with this. You know, everybody has an about me. We have a life. We have a story. And what I like is I like learning about people's journey and what gets them where they are and, and so that you actually have the ability to actually introduce yourself. Had you just written that out, I don't think that people would have really known how much you care more about people than you do about money. And yet, I know you're driven by money, too. So that's a compliment. Definitely, because, you know, it, you know it, it's like money's like air. It's hard to live without. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.